16, 17, 18. Are you making a check of all the androids that are around? No, I'm counting the number of subscribers I'm going to get you. Don't forget about your chance to win this Mattel's DC Multiverses Shazam action figure. All you have to do is share one of my videos. It does not matter which video you share. And leave a comment on the video that you have shared saying Shazam I shared. Also over there on my Patreon I'm doing another giveaway for a My Hero Academia McFarlane Toys All Might. All you have to do is make a small donation to this channel of $3 to my second tier. And I'll leave a link to that in the description below as well. The contest for both the Shazam and All Might ends June the 30th. And the winner will be announced on July the 1st, 12 p.m. Eastern Time. And shipping is in the United States only as well. Good luck to you all. Welcome to my channel. This is Surge bringing you another action figure collector's review on the Dragon Ball Super's Dragon Star series Android 17. As you can tell you get Android 17 staring at you through the window. You get an extra bit of accessories right there. Over here on this side of the box you get Dragon Ball Super up there at the top. You get Android 17 down there at the bottom and you get to peep in through the window like a peeping Tom would do. Over here on this side of the box you get Dragon Ball Super right up there at the top. You get a great illustrated image of Android 17 right there from the anime. Over here on the back of the box, you get other figures from this wave. And up here at the top of the box, you get Dragon Star Series. And down here at the bottom, Dragon Ball Super. Let's get to it and open this bad boy up. Okay, let's take a good look at his accessories. And we're going to go ahead and take a look at his fisted hands. There's not a whole lot of new going on here. Boom, boom. And we'll go ahead and look at him. The color is very nice. I like the color that we see on these hands. But we see these hands time and time again with the Dragon Star series. I wish they would change it up a little bit. Maybe different sizes of hands or something like that. But, you know, it's nothing too bad to complain about because you do need them fists whenever you're throwing down with Cell or Goku. Now, over here, we'll take a look at these kind of like a gripping, grasping hands. And they look good. They're the, like the Kamehameha blasting hands. And we've seen these time and time again. And you do get the fingernails right there with all the other figures from the series. So, it's not a whole lot of new going on here. Now this is something new that I haven't seen, but I'm sure we they have other molds of these hands. But I like that I have a different set of hands with my other figures now. So that I'm pleased with that. At least we can at least interchange them out or something. So it's nice to have a little bit of variation switching things up. But I do like these hands a lot right there. But I wish we would have got some like effect pieces or something so we could shoot like some beams out of our hands that would have been nice it, it's just it's so they i feel like they dropped the ball with that and here he is android number 17 out of the box and ready to hunt down goku onto your screen the dragon ball series hasn't really impressed me yet other than that frieza figure can they impress me on this figure we'll find out in just a second Okay, let's take a good look at 17's articulation. First of all, his head can't look up too much because his hair hits his back, but he can look further down to his toes, so that's good. And he doesn't have too much of that confused dog going on because it kind of wants to go back into place where his head is. He doesn't have any going on to that side, but he does have that exorcist effect. And he also can throw that perfect pitch his arm can move around in a full 360. And yeah, it's got this cool little drop down feature just like so. And it moves just like that. And what you can do with that is it extends his arm all the way up to his side. So that's very impressive. I'm happy that Van Bandai was able to do that. But it's kind of ugly. But you do get this bicep swivel right there. And you get a double jointed elbow. But it only bends in at the 90 degree mark. So that's a little bit disappointing. He does have a ball hinge at his wrist. Allowing his wrist to swivel and go in any direction you would 
prefer to po pose it. He don't have no torso articulation, but he does have a waist twist. And he's got splits that can split out that far. So that's very good. I like that. He's got a drop down feature with his legs. Right? Just like so, allowing you to get more range whenever you're kicking him forward. Just like that, you, that's normal right there. And when you use that drop down feature, you can get a little bit further, but it, his leg wants to bend to the inside. You do get a thigh wiggle in there. You get double jointed knees that bend in that far. And they move back that far as well. And right here, let me go ahead and straighten the leg up. You don't get no hinge, so you don't you can't get his leg to do the perfect ballerina, but you do get that side to side, and you can't get his foot to go up at all. But that was a good look at Android 17's articulation. Okay, let's take a good look at his sculpt and detailing. And this really does look like Android 17. And I'm very impressed with what Bandai is able to do here. This is where these figures shine. But I like his little smirk that he has on his face. His eyes and his eyebrows came out very clean. And there's no paint out of place. And I like the way his hair comes down across his face. The sculpt line working there. It looks just like 17. I like how you get these wrinkles back here in the back of the bandana or the scarf. Some of it pleases me a lot. And then the wrinkles continue to the front. And up underneath there, you get the Red Ribbon Army symbol. I'm glad that they gave that to us instead of just a black shirt trying to cover it up. So I'm very impressed with what Bandai done there. Right here, his arms. And got a nice wrinkling in his shirt. I like that. It looks very, very good. Colors look pretty accurate. He's got this strap going across his waistline and over his belt and it's got a gun in there the gun is not removable by any means so don't really try to break your action figure trying to get it open but i like the tan that you're seeing on that and he also has his belt up underneath there to hold his pants up and if you like android 17 butts give this a thumbs up he also has a pouch right there it looks very good so that pleases me a lot right there. He's got a little buckle right there. And he's got a yellow buckle on the front of his belt. And I like that. I like the, how the seam goes down the crotch. Right through here you got wrinklings. And you got that tip right there in his pants. So that's very nice. I like that. I like the green color that we see. But mine's got a little bit of extra paint over there on it. So that's a little bit displeasing. But his Chuck Taylors came out very nice. I like them. What I'm a huge fan of Calvin versus in real life, but he's got serial numbers at the bottom of his feet. And I don't really like these joints too much, but I understand why they use them. But that that's very nice. I'm very impressed with how this figure looks, and that was a good look at 17 sculpting detailing. And here's how Android 17 scales next to a couple figures from this wave I've already reviewed. Over there on his left, we have Piccolo. And over there on his right, we have Frieza. Here's how Android 17 scales up against a couple of action figures I have recently reviewed. From the Power Rangers Lightning Collection line, over there on his left, we have the Cyber Villain Blaze. And over there on his right, we have the Blue Zeo Ranger. Here's how Android 17 scales up against a couple of Hasbro action figures from the Power Rangers Lightning Collection line, the Walgreens exclusive Dragon Shield Black Power Ranger over there on his left, and from Marvel Legends we have the Superior Octopus on his right. And from McFarlane Toys, over there on his left from the DC Multiverse, we have the Batman Who Laughs, and from that same line of action figures on his right we have the Unchained Armored Superman. And here's how Android 17 scales up against a couple of NECA action figures from the GameStop exclusive 1990s Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles movie line. Over there on his left, we have the Foot Soldier. And over there on his right from the same line, we have the Shredder. Here's my final thoughts on this figure. If you're a fan of Android 17, you'll be a fan of this figure. But me personally... I feel like Bandai just pushed this figure out the door without putting any effort into it. Now, I'm not saying it doesn't have any redeeming qualities because it really shines with the sculpt and detailing and the pants are on point. But let me know what you think of the figure. Let me know what you think of the review in the comments below. And as always, feel the urge to collect with Surge. 
you want more action figure collectors reviews, then feel the urge to subscribe to Surge. And if you've liked what you've seen, then click that big thumbs up button. If you want to get notified of my latest videos whenever they drop, click that notification bell. If you want to see this channel grow, share with a friend. Speaking of friends, you can friend me over there on Facebook. Links to that will be in the description below. You can also follow me along on Twitter. Links to that will be in the description below. I'm the best android ever made. What was that? Ah, oh, crap.